Hello everyone, this is Sahiti from 4th year AC and today we are going to learn about the two-dimensional wavelet transform. A wavelet transform is nothing but a tool that cuts or divides the signal data into different frequency components and then studies each component with a resolution match to its scale. For example, if there is a signal with three frequency components at varying times, we use different types of windows to study each frequency component like the narrower windows are more appropriate to study the waves at high frequencies and wider windows are more appropriate to study waves at lower frequencies. When it comes to image processing applications, there is need for wavelets that are two-dimensional. So this reduces down our problem to designing 2D filters. For image processing, we use separable wavelet transforms in which we apply 1D filter bank to the rows of the image first and then we apply the same transform to the columns of the obtained result. Therefore, we finally obtain three high pass channels corresponding to vertical, horizontal, diagonal and one approximation image in each iteration. In 2D, there will be a two-dimensional scaling function phi of x comma y and three two-dimensional wavelets psi h of x comma y, psi v of x comma y and psi d of x comma y. Whereas each of them is a product of two one-dimensional functions, excluding products that produce one-dimensional results like the four remaining products produce a separable scaling function phi x comma y and separable directionally sensitive wavelets psi h of x comma y which measures the variations along columns which means it detects the horizontal edges psi v of x comma y which measures the variations along rows psi d of x comma y measures the variations along diagonals. The scaled and translated basis functions of a 2D wavelet transform can be given like this where i is the subscript that assumes the values of h comma v comma d and the discrete wavelet transform of a function f of x comma y of size m cross n is given like this whereas these coefficients define an approximation of function f of x comma y scale j naught and these coefficients add horizontal, vertical and diagonal details for the scales j greater than j naught. We can find the inverse wavelet transform in 2D with this equation when we are provided with the coefficients omega phi and omega psi of phi which are obtained through inverse discrete wavelet transform. This is the 2D analysis filter bank. The image f of x comma y is used as omega phi j naught m comma n as input to the filter bank. High pass of the detailed component characterizes the image's high frequency information with vertical orientation and low pass approximation component contains its lower frequency vertical information. Both the images are filtered column wise and then down sampled to yield four quarter sized output sub images omega phi, omega phi h, omega phi v and omega phi d. So like this the single scale filter bank can be iterated to produce a scale transform in which scale j can be equals to j minus 1, j minus 2 and so on to j minus p. So the resultant decomposition would look something like this. Synthesis filter bank reverses the process of the analysis filter bank. At each iteration, four scale j approximation and details of images are upsampled and then convolved with 2D filters. One operates on the sub-images columns and other operates on its rows. Addition of these results would yield the scale approximation of j, j plus 1 and process is repeated until the original image is reconstructed. These are the four quarter sized images that were substituted for input image A. The decomposition filters used in preceding example are part of a well-known family of wavelets called simlets which is a shortcut form for symmetrical wavelets. Although they are not perfectly symmetrical, they are designed to have the least asymmetry and highest number of vanishing moments for a given compact support. These two images represent the de decomposition filters we used in 2D wavelet transform and these two represent the reconstruction filters. This is a one dimensional wavelet and this one is a one dimensional scaling function. How image processing is done through 2D wavelet transform? The basic approach is to compute 2D wavelet transform on an image first, alter the transform and compute the inverse transform. For example, this image shows the net effect of computing the inverse wavelet transform using these modified coefficients is its enhancement. 
Note how well the transitions between the signal and background are delineated despite the fact that they are relatively soft sinusoidal transitions. And in the same way, by zeroing the horizontal details, we can get the vertical edges in this image. These detections can be helpful in the noise filtering of an image. And, uh, and these are some other applications of the wavelet transforms such as image compressions, recognitions, image matchings and retrievals, classifications, document analysis and hardware implementation.